This video is a part of my long term project in a quest to clear confusions and also to find and recommend the right gear oil based on lab tests and practical experiences. People with background in tribology and automotive metallurgy will agree that gearboxes are not so flexible and forgiving with grades and composition of gear oils when compared to engines with engine oils. In such cases, the owner's manual can be our best guide where we can find the recommended grade and quantity requirements. Maruti Suzuki usually recommends 75W90 or 75W80 gear oil for most its vehicles with manual transmission. So following the directions of service book, I went ahead with the 75W90 GL4 manual transmission oil. This is the Petronas Tutela MTF 500 75W90 transmission oil. I got introduced to the brand by Fiat enthusiasts who swear by Petronas products and I guess they do it for a reason. As it could be found in the reports of our past lab test results on the Petronas Synthium 3000 engine oil. This video on analysis is based on two lab tests, one was done on the fresh MTF 500 while the other was done after doing 15,000 plus kilometers on the same Petronas MTF 500 75W90. The transmission oil faced all kinds of weather from monsoon, winter to extreme summer done on highways, city traffic and hill roads. Lab test followers on the channel know the drill where we start off with viscosity. At 40 degrees Celsius, the kinematic viscosity of fresh MTF 575W90 stood at 101.01 mm2 per second. And after 15,000 plus kilometers, the viscosity at 40 degrees Celsius came at 91.45 mm2 per second, which is good and way above the concerning lower limits of 70 mm2 per second. Now let's see what happens at 100 degrees Celsius. The fresh MTF 575W90 was at 16.33 mm2 per second, and after 15,000 plus kilometers, the kinematic viscosity of used oil at 100 degrees Celsius stood at 14.84 mm2 per second. This is really impressive for all the torture the gearbox has gone through as the MTF 500 has really hold on to the viscosity well. I guess we will get to see the secret from Petronas in the elemental and additive analysis further in this video. Now before we jump on it, let's complete the physical properties with Flashpoint. The fresh Petronas MTF 575W90 has got a flash point of 214 degrees Celsius while the used gear oil showed almost similar flash point of 212 degrees Celsius which is excellent. Now the elemental analysis of the used oil will reveal a lot of interesting stuff where we will begin with the wear and tear analysis. This will begin with major component composition of iron which came out at just 15 parts per million representing outstanding protection. This was continued with aluminum and copper where both came out at close to non-existent 2 parts per million showing the clutch and rings in top shape. This also brought nickel and chromium to my notice where chromium was almost absent in the wear and tear department while nickel came out at meager 2 parts per million. Similar was the case with manganese at 4 parts per million. Manganese is generally found in gearbox due to manganese phosphate coating done on gearbox meshing parts for protection. Coming from the wear and tear report, we can say that the Petronas Tutela MTF 575W90 has done its best and proved its metal in protecting the transmission. Next, we have contaminants. Silicon came under the limit at 10 parts per million, while sodium was almost absent with similar report on water content. Finally, we arrive at the additives where calcium and magnesium are usually added as cleansing agents, but gear oils in general are not really dependent on them, especially in case of closed case gearboxes, as gear oils are not really exposed to extremely high carbon forming environment like the engine oils. And if you look onto the other side, then these detergents usually have polar properties which can interfere with some of the active components of gear oils. Next, we will discuss the anti-wear and extreme pressure additive formulations. This starts with zinc at 12 parts per million, which is typical from what we have found with other gear oils. Phosphorus and sulfur establish themselves as the prime contributor for anti-wear and extreme pressure additives in gear oils, where phosphorus is at 256 parts per million and sulfur at 8930 parts per million. These both come in active and inactive form, which helps the gear oil to perform in both low and high temperature situations. All of these additives are formulated in semi-synthetic base to form the MTF 500. Being an API GL4, we get to see these additives in moderate number to meet with the GL4 requirements. My personal experience has been surprisingly good with the Petronas MTF 575W90. The physical properties reveal the oil could have easily sustained an another 15,000 km with ease for my kind of heavy use. The gear shift experience was pleasant and I could notice the difference especially with the reverse gear which easily engaged even during cold morning starts. 
In my case, I noticed no major difference in fuel efficiency. But I should mention this that even at high temperature situations like crawling traffic and endurance drives, the shifting experience remains similar, which is something you can also experience with the clutch action. So going by our experience and the lap test results, the Petronas Tutela MTF 500 definitely gets a thumbs up from the channel. Let me know in the comments if you are interested in this and want me to continue with this series. So that's it for this video and I hope you guys have liked it.